Hey, what's up? Um, so, I was talking to someone and, you know, they were mentioning the person they're most close with in their life was their grandmother. And I've heard this from several people that they're really, the person they confided in is their grandparents or grandmother, grandpa. Uh, you know, a couple of my, you know, friends have they came out of the closet to their grandma first and all this stuff and I don't know like that whole close relationship with your grandparents is very foreign to me um I just I don't know growing up I just assumed that everybody had their grandparents who were just old and first I loved my grandparents and I love them right now too and I've always had good relationships with my grandparents. They're great. I've never, nothing bad to say. So nothing against them. And I probably wouldn't post this if they weren't dead or ill anyway. So, but the idea of being close to, like, it's a confide in uh, a grandparent or something like that. I just never really thought about that until I had several people mention that. And then I was like, well... I don't know. I don't know if I even wish I did or envy it. I just think it's kind of cool or really just foreign to me, like I said. Um, I've never had that, ever. Um, I, you know, two sets of grandparents uh, on my mom's side and my dad's side, you know, and I would, we would, me and my brother always referred to them to either Grandpa Hopsinger or Grandpa Lacido. You know, so that's how we always preferred. Um, my grandpa Hobbsier, my mom's father, passed away when I was like nine. So, I there's nothing you need to confide in as a nine year old. You know, nothing important. And even then, I don't really have any memories of being super close. It probably was. I just don't remember it. I remember being impressed that he. Um, was a craftsman. He built things, little crafts, little, you know, the stuff that being like a craft fair, or some bullshit. But he also did really nice woodwork, and and I always was fascinated about his workroom. We weren't really allowed to play in it too much, but it's still that's one thing I do have a memory of him. That in a fold-out yardstick, he would spank us with. Like it was really, you fold it out, and it was like a big stick, but then fold it away. That's my other memory of him. Um, I still to this day have baby food jars that he kept little stones and shiny rocks and stuff that he uses it is uh, crafts and like seashells he sorted them in that way so that was that so he passed away in 87 so there's not really a chance for anything my grandma Hopsinger I was just a cool lady and everything she passed away thousand something like soon after I moved to LA so I was still like 20 21 20 no 21 or 22 23 um, even then so you know to the teenage years is really nothing I never had that close relationship uh, we generally hated going over there as kids because she had nap time um, so we had fun over there but it's still not a close relationship like you know, my friends talk about, um, you know, I don't know, I think nap time was my memory of her most dance out, and she loved to have us clean. Uh, what else? She had a book. She wrote down everything she ever spent, like, you know, like you're supposed to, I guess, keep receipts and write down a ledger or whatever. But she wrote down everything. Like, even when she spent gas, she would calculate it with the math. She was smart. And how much gas she got actually per mile. So she would, you know, make sure she got it or something. And she logged it. If there was ever an audit. She was the dream person. She had everything. Receipts from Burger King and everything. So, it's another thing that was interesting about her. But she had a great life and everything. But still, she was old when I was young. I was, I don't know 
I just, I don't I can't even explain it, the difference. But and then there's my grandma and grandpa Lucido, who are completely different than the other set of grandparents. They're traditional Sicilian Catholics. Grandma Lucido, who me and my cousins and my brother referred to as Nani, she um, didn't work, didn't drive. Very like serve your husband, cook, clean, you know, you know, very like 1940. Like it was kind of odd, but that's all I knew. So it just seemed normal what old religious people did. They loved Jesus, loved going to church. Uh, we would go to church with them. I didn't even know there was mass on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, but there is. I've been there. She volunteered to clean it, the church, and we did that, which we had fun. There was an old in Florissant, there's an old um, church, I think St. Ferdinand, one of the oldest churches there. And I would loved it because it was old. I loved old things and things that had, um, I don't know, just loved it to rummage through stuff while she cleaned and prayed. So she did our best to make us good Catholics. Didn't stick. But she did our best. And how can you really have a close relationship or confide in? someone with that big of a generation gap like I remember my girlfriend and I were going into college after high school and she was of course going to college and I was too my grandma mentioned something about wow things are changing I did. girls going to college so yeah like there's gonna be any understanding between me and her so not their fault they're just completely good people from a different world so I didn't really have I could find them in there's there's nothing I could have brought to them God if they even thought I had sex before marriage or oh and the whole doing a guy thing I didn't even think they even knew what that was um so yeah I just didn't have that and I never thought about it I just thought that was natural and um my grandpa Lucido, really, really good guy. Good guy. He swam. He worked all his life. Great stories about Sicily. Very private. They they loved coming to America and they Americanized themselves pretty well. I mean, they're just kind of became white easily. Um, but very old school and. I remember him sitting down telling me the importance of Jesus. And it was very nice. He was very serious and sincere. And I listened. And I don't know what I thought at the time. Um, I still have all their... My grandpa died again around 2001. Something wrong that right after I moved to L.A. Um, my grandma's really ill. She's still alive, staying with my uncle. Very ill. So she has no idea who we are going on. So... Basically, I haven't had a grandparent as an adult, as me now. So I don't even know. They would not even get this, I don't think, what I'm doing, where I am. So maybe they did. Maybe they would have surprised me. I don't know. Um, but yeah, my gran grandma and grandpa, let's see. I mean, they still, my grandpa still used the word colored. So, I mean, it's different. I brought over my uh, first boyfriend to meet them, who was colored, and that was, uh, and when he said that, I was just like, oh my god. He meant it in a nice way, he didn't mean anything mean by it, but that's embarrassing. Um, yeah, so I just, oh, I actually have a photo, one of my, um, it's Dusty. This is a f one of my art pieces that was in an art show. It's my grandmother, Grandma Lucido, and they're, they love their apple tree in their backyard. And this is from 84. Uh, this is my grandpa. Ooh. Same thing, they love that apple tree. Um... And the third piece of the series is 